Hey y'all, Kimology here, day two of this video thing that I'm starting. I am nervous about what to talk about because, not because I don't have things that I really want to talk about, but because I um, still kind of, I'm going to be stuck I think for a while on that whole like what's my thing thing and it not feeling uh, clear. So I thought today that I would start instead of continuing to belabor that point, um, starting with like where all this came from, a little backstory. So to me, uh, in 2000, when I, when I was about to turn 30, I had what you know might call a typical uh, milestone birthday crisis or life event. Um, as I was starting to approach 30, I was starting to really feel uh, I'm about to be 30, and what does that mean? And feeling like. I, my life really wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And so I got kind of caught up in that. Um, and that ended up propelling me into what I now call or refer to as the reckoning of my life. Like I basically freaked out about turning 30 and then reclaimed my life or found myself in all those phrases that sometimes I uh, don't use or purposely don't use because to find you had to be lost and maybe I wasn't lost and stuff like that. But anyway, 29, about to be 30 and it felt like a big deal. And I, re I reckon my life after that, um, I think a lot of it included that I didn't know what I wanted. So here I was, oh, hey, for some background noise, that stuff about to zoom me in the house apparently. Um, so come on, man, you just made me lose all my thoughts. He didn't make me anything. No one makes anyone anything. That's a chemism. I'll have to add later. So turned 30 and it, the, ep, the like lead up to that was that I, um, felt like my life wasn't what I thought it should be, which means that it wasn't what I wanted. And then when I started asking those questions, like, well, what do you want? I realized I wasn't clear. I didn't know. And, um, when I would ask myself that question, I could answer what I didn't want, but I couldn't answer what I did want. And that started a whole thing for me. Um, really look like looking for meaning of life type stuff, really. But I don't think I was calling it that at the time. I was just looking for what's my framework? You know, what? how am I doing this? What am I doing? Um, ah, ah, you wait. You're waiting. He rings the bell when he wants to go out, which is really wonderful. Uh, but our fence is knocked down right now. So he has taken to leaving every time he goes out. So I've been saying no sometimes. Ah, ah, I said no. Come, let it go. Well, this isn't going great. <laughs> You're probably supposed to edit this stuff out. 30, meaning of life, didn't know what I wanted, started working on that. And then I was, I think I probably started reading, looking at stuff, like just trying to grasp on anything. I wasn't raised religious, so maybe religion is a framework that people use to guide their life. I didn't have that. Um, and I didn't, I don't know, I like didn't know what my values were and was that something that most people know? I don't know. And maybe I had thoughts like, I think I know what they are, but I, do, I can't articulate them. I don't know what they are in that way, but they must be in there, right? So I just started working on that. At the same time, I, uh, well, before that, I left my then long-term partner. We'd been together for five years. He had recently proposed. We had a significant event towards the end of that five years that was probably part of this upset. And, uh, so I left that relationship, didn't really think that I was like, it wasn't like a breakup, like done. It was like, I just need to figure some stuff out and need some space type of thing. And that turned into years. And that's, that's kind of another story, but, um, turned 30, left the biggest part of my life, which was my partnership and the place that I lived, moved somewhere else, started hiking a bunch, started trying to figure myself out, started dating other people which is again, another big part of that story, which is a good one that I will share. <clears throat> um, and in all that process, I think I was just looking for like, what are my guiding things? Like, what are my rules? And even for, trying to find the language for that, what resonated. And eventually um, I would, I would hear things I can't even right now recall what they were, they were other than I know that Tony Robbins eventually became a big aspect of that for me. Um, and then over more time, that got big and then it got small and I started to not like that. And again, that could be another story. But the point, I guess, is the the history, like where all this came from. It was a reckoning of my life that I 
the way that I got here and for years I was like I fucking love my life I went from like this is not my life I this is not my fucking life I don't know what's going on so I gotta fix something to I fucking love my life and knowing what I did to get that and then honestly I actually don't like saying that language because it implies that there's other times when you're not being truthful <clears throat> and I think I'm always really striving to be truthful I'm like which seems unusual in my opinion um but so honestly, in the last year, I've actually started to think, how silly was I to think that I was going to have one reckoning in my life? Because as I've felt this upset with this whole, like, what's your thing? What's your purpose? I was like, oh, eventually I was like, oh my God, this is another reckoning. Like, it feels like that. But this time I'm a little, I'm more aware of what that was like. So it's not as like, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> And finally, I was like, I think that's what this is. I think I'm having another reckoning. So I might be in the middle of a, what I would call a second reckoning. Maybe there was one before that first one that I was so unaware I didn't even know it was. Um, but I, I have come to think that that's probably what's up right now. So that's a little backstory about where this all is, was, came from, who I am, what the story is that I tell about that. And um, this will be it for share number two what should we call it I mean I don't even have a name this is how unorganized I feel like I always have to have like a name and a, a, this is how it is and this is what it'll all be about and the summary and like all this stuff and right now I'm just I'm just gonna go with I'm gonna do a video a day and it'll be vlog style and I will talk about whatever the hell I want to talk about and if anybody watches it great if nobody does there will be something to come out of that too so leave a comment or whatever you're supposed to do <laughs> ask me a question I like questions and until the next one, ciao for now.